Welcome to VDG Sports. I am your host, Vince Douglas Gregory. Here are my thoughts on the NFL. Every sports league has its trickster. Every sports league have basically a team that everybody jokes about, makes fun of, or say that they, they provide humor for all of us. Now, I think it'll be my team. I think it'll be the Chicago Bears or possibly the Atlanta Falcons because the Falcons always find itself or always find a way to falcon it up. And the Chicago Bears hasn't been on anything or been about anything in over 20, 25, 40-ish plus years. And they are the Chicago Bears. Think of Hollis, George Hollis, and all of that, the football itself, the, one of the flagship teams, one of the flagship teams that's been around, but they've been poorly ran for so, so long, I would think that it'd be them. Some people would argue and say, it, yeah, it's them all the way, but I'll push back and I'll say, it's got to be, it has to be. Dallas Cowboys. It has to be the Dallas Cowboys, especially at this point in time. Every year, it's always they're they're gonna win. They're gonna win. They're gonna win the Super Bowl. About winning the Super Bowl. And it's not like they don't try. Jerry Jones, Chicago, well, Jerry Jones, the Dallas Cowboys owner, he does everything in his nature he does everything in his power to put them in a position sometimes he overreaches and that's why he probably doesn't have as much power that he used to have or much power that he he doesn't have that much power anymore but he's all it's not for lack of trying so he's trying his best to win a super bowl to be one of the best if not the best team it's America's team. It's branded as America's team. Somehow, that slogan has stuck. And granted, it's not really America's team. The star on the side of the helmet is something that other people marvel at. And looking at the numbers, looking at the numbers, isn't it one of the most popular teams in the world. So with all of that being said, for them to go on this slide like they always do, usually at different points in the season, usually at different points where something happens, like maybe a Tony Romo muffs or, or fumbles, the, uh, the snap, or not the snap, but catching, and you get it. There's a lot of stuff that you can go and just Google and find. But that leads me to, it has to be the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys have to be that team in the NFL that everybody laughs at, that everybody makes fun of, that everybody jokes about with other fans. That's non-Cowboys fan because if you're a Cowboy fan, you're winning it all the time every year. It's good to have expectations. It's good to think that way. But when there's no results or when that thinking is like thinking pie in the sky, at some point you're going to have to come back down to reality. At some point you're going to have to be with the rest of us in this realm and realize you ain't that good and sometimes you're overrated you're not that good and you're overrated because of the hype machine because of the PR spin I'm not blaming you I'm not faulting you it's good to ask for the sky it's good to ask for the world it's good to ask for things that you can't get because if you get something that's close to it you're happy you're happy but hey I'm just here to say that so far and things can change in this wacky NFL so far for the past 
years, multiple years, you've been the joke of the league. Like, as I was saying, it could have been the Bears. It probably should be the Bears, but the Bears aren't popular as Dallas. And therefore, the Cowboys win the tiebreaker. It could have been Atlanta, but Atlanta's never been successful, so we're not gonna we're not gonna beat up on, on them. That's just wrong. It could have been the Chicago Bears, but they're not as popular as the Dallas Cowboys. And that's why I'm settled on it being the Cowboys. It's still early. It's still early, and so far this season has has shown me at least that you can't really, you don't really know who's good or not. We're halfway through and you still don't really know who's good or not or who actually a clear cut favorite to win the Super Bowl. That's parody at its best. Maybe, or this is just how things work and you can go back and look at one of the previous videos that I made at the beginning saying that this is usually how it happens in the NFL. And no, I'm not patting myself on the back on this one. I can't. I'm a Bears fan. 